The rumours have confirmed to be true and Daniel Ricciardo will retire from the end of the season. Hello and welcome to my F122 driver crew mode here today for part 28 for the Italian Grand Prix. Some shocking news coming out that Daniel Riccardo is retiring so there's a seat opening up at McLaren and he will fill it for next season. But before we get to that season let's concentrate on this season and this is the grid for the Italian Grand Prix. For today's race. Fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday and it's put him on pole. Edging out Sergio Perez who lines up P2. Considering the rest of the grid we have Fernando Alonso, Russell, Lando Norris and Ricardo. Gasly, Verstappen, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Mick Schumacher and Lewis Hamilton. Joe, Albon, Yuki Tsunoda, they've taken a grid penalty. And Ocon, Stroll, Brown, Robert Schwartzman and Carlos Sainz. Magnussen and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. So it's on P16 after some penalties behind Carlos Sainz taking a penalty on home soil for Ferrari. We are doing a one-stop race starting on the mediums going to the hards. Unless anything dramatic happens in the Grand Prix, pretty much straightforward. But here we go then, there's four, there's five red lights. And we are racing in London. And we have an absolute shock at the start. So much will be nearly hitting the Williams of Albon. It is stuffing it into the barrier straight away. As we send the guys back down into turn one. Now try and keep our nose clean as we go through the second part of the chicane. And we do gain five in positions there from the Tony Snout. The good old dive bomb always works, especially in Monza, if you manage to keep your nose clean. So here we go into the second chicane. The south by side of the road and nearly we have to really slow on the brakes to avoid the back of hitting Lewis Hamilton's Mercedes. Really had to be careful there and that has lost us some time and that may, may have been our chance for us to get past him as we have a massive tank stop on the car there and there is there is a car, it's Alphon in the Williams alongside us down the inside we go and we just about stay ahead of him this is Sainz coming through now behind the Alpine of Sonoda and Albon as we managed to get away just about to his ears at the road and this is Sainz going for the double overtake into the Parabolica Albon sandwiched in the middle Sonoda on the outside Sonoda gets ahead Albon's been done by both of them and now Sainz with the straight line speed of that fresh Ferrari engine on the back of his car to the delight of the Defacey, down the inside, he goes into turn one on Yuki Tsunoda, Tsunoda tries to hold it around the outside, but his defence is very much short lived as he's through and past both of them. And as we discovered back in um, Spa, we are so slow in a straight line with this car and look at it, it's not fair. How quickly he just overtook me there. That was flat out. We have the max top speed set up on and he just absolutely blitzed me like I wasn't even there. Not fair. And now here is Sonoda on the back of us trying to go to the outside. And he's got the job done on us. But now we have possibly set him up but just depends how far we can get this car along. We have the DRS now on lap 5, but we just don't have the straight line speed. Sonoda's gone and now we are falling back, and now here is Albon blitzing us. And this car is not good. We really, we really gave myself some hope after sparring an excellent result but massive shot back to reality but we are just about managing to keep in touch and distance as Sainz 
hasn't really been able to make any pressure on me. Actually, been started to come back out by Yuki Tsunoda. We are just about staying in touch. You can see Salance so lots last, and this is why there's such a queue because there's Ocon and Mick Schumacher going wheel to wheel. As look at them now, they're side by side, and Carlos Sainz is gonna make it free wide like he did earlier on in the Grand Prix. And he's got the horse, and now he's on the inside of the Alpha Tauri. But Ocon just about stays ahead for now. And now we've seen an opportunity to go down the inside of Alex Albon and re overtake him. And he's got the job done on Albon, and now could be possibly get those in front, but look at look at the straight line speed we're being absolutely done again even with the slipstream of the Alfa Romeo we try we cut off album we send the dive bomb on the Alfa Romeo with Joe and we do get the job done on him but we are really having to force these overtakes and we somehow managed to get away but on lap 11 we are going to pit and make hopefully our one and only stop of the day Nothing really too dramatic so far, only being mucked left right and centre because of the straight line speed. Hopefully this race comes Perfect alive, job, possibly. We've had some excellent races in Monza and past F1 games. So has this got a twist in the tail? As we are going to come out back into last place on lap 12. Now hopefully pitting that a little bit earlier, trying to do the undercut, hopefully works, but we go very deep into turn two, as this is now Magnussen, and you can see behind Albon and Joe, coming out of the pits, as we can roaring down the pit straight, and we have just about beaten up the Haas, who was way up the road, and now this is Magnussen, Slowing down the yellow flags, Magnussen is slowing down. Oh no, it's looking like it's going to be another DNF. I think that's two in a row now. May even three in a row for Kevin Magnussen. That Ferrari engine giving up. I'm way too much of this liking. Right, the virtual safety car has just been deployed due to a build-up of stop cars on the track. Watch your pace. Okay, we've been informed due to increasing risks. They're moving from a virtual to a full safety car. Full safety car. Virtual safety car is out and that is allowed the likes of Stroll and Latifi to pit under the VSC and come out and gain a couple of places on those behind. So the safety car is finally going to come in now. Ten racing laps remain and it's Sergio Perez who will lead us away from Charles Leclerc, from Max Verstappen in the Red Bull. This time last year we had the excellent seven car battle for the lead at one stage, but Perez has got the hammer down and we are back racing, as now we have a great opportunity to possibly gain some places with a good old dive bomb, and that's what we're going to do down the inside of three cars. There. We've got Ocon, we've got Schumacher, and round the outside of Yuki Tsunoda as well. Now next up is Carlos Sainz. Don't really want to try and overtake him, but maybe some of the cars in front don't want to be embarrassed like we were earlier on in the Grand Prix. But through the second chicane we go, and now towards the two Lesmos, through the king we go, out of it. And the, as it all, Yuki Tsunoda has a bit of a wobble there. And now Tsunoda is going to come back at us round the outside. He tries to go. We show him the outside and nearly off the track. And now he may be overtaken by Mick Schumacher. There goes Tsunoda to our outside, to our inside. And now Mick Schumacher is in the tyre tracks of us. We're going to. Cut it late, go back down the inside, get the job done and we overtake. The Alpine there and Gasly is not too far up the road now as we are going to send it very late to the inside. 
He nearly contacted the block, but he was definitely contact. And we get the job done and we are up into the points now. Into P9. We've got a couple of points on the board. But now here comes Gasly. The straights as well is what is hurting us. And the straights is all there is. Here at Monza, Gasly re overtakes us then. Round the outside. We try and stay in his slipstream. Try and get the toe. Now it's still no DRS at this point, I believe. As here we go, look at the straight line speed. And Yuki Sonoda may have a chance here to get me and Gasly. But he hasn't, and his looks like he's nearly locked up there. Nearly lost out, but no. He re overtakes us, and now this is Sonoda on and Gasly pulls to the outside and now here goes Ming Schumacher on us going to the inside and now oh the Nini made contact with him we're on the grass we're sliding across and we've punted Gasly over the top of Yuki Sonoda we've cre created an unbelievable crash huge crash we've created we've got a 10 second time penalty this is what it looked like from Sonoda as he's going down the straight nearly past Gasly and now locks up and over the top goes Gasly flying over the top, scary crash this is what it looked like from Pierre Gasly's point of view he slots back into the slipstream Sonoda locks up and he's punted into the side and look at that he's, we nearly send him to the moon and that is brought out of the safety car, Gasly, hopefully he's alright, that was a scary crash. And we may possibly be looking at a race ban for that. But uh, very, very annoyingly, we've been a box, there's only a handful of laps to go. We had needed a front wing. And for some reason the game didn't let me take my 10 second time penalty. So... We've won soft tyres, we're going to have to floor it, we're probably not going to get any points, but we'll see in these dying laps. The three more to go, Perez still leads, and it's for Stappen P2, as now we are back racing and we have just got to go full, te full send, we have literally nothing to lose now. As now we go rocketing down the straight, we're going to go for the send, we have no other option but to go for the send as we send it to the inside of free guard. Both our Alfa Romeo is cleared and the Alpine of Yuki Tsunoda has somehow survived the crash. Definitely some damage, maybe even some chassis damage after that, after the Alfa Tarrant flying over the top of them and we now all over the back there is Lance ahead of us we've got the Williams and now we're side by side with Stroll trying to go to the outside he's not going to make this easy for us we know how personal this is between us Stroll doesn't like me we don't like Stroll as now we're wheel to wheel we swap him the dummy he squeezes us right and nearly off the track but we slide find a way through and we are going to try and send him around the outside he locks up and tries to make it difficult for us. So I just give him, a, give him a little cheeky nudge and show him the gravel on the exit of turn two. And he is overtaken by Nicholas Latifi as well. But as we go on to the final lap, Sergio Perez is going to win Monza race in Italy. From Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc to round out the podium and now this is Latifi overtaking us on the final lap where we went wheel to wheel with Albon on the opening lap gets the job done on us we had a little wobble coming into the chicane that we are going to be overtaking and finish behind Nicholas Latifi we will finish on the track in P14 but in the standings it's P18 and it's very disappointing Right, 
was a magnificent race and a drive right out of the top draw to take the win for the Red Bull today. And talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Here come today's winners. The team at Red Bull have done a phenomenal job recently. It's clear to see that they've put in the work and they should be proud of the victory they've secured here. So that's been your Grand Prix then, the Italian Grand Prix for Season 2 in 2023. Sergio Perez your winner in what turned out to be a very dramatic Grand Prix in the end where we just trying to avo avoid contact with um, Mick Schumacher who really got across me, put us on the grass. We could do nothing at that point but go straight slamming into the side of Pierre Gasly, send him, sending him flying over the top of Sinoda. But it's a good result for Perez. We finished in dead last after our 10 seconds stopped going penalty after it being added to our race time and just a very frustrating race it weren't looking good the car was awful in a straight line you can see that by how quickly we got done by Sainz and most of those behind as well so two dnfs of Gazi and magnuson as well we pick up no points neither does stroll but at the top it is very much looking like charles leclerc now max verstappen is gonna have to have some races of his lives if he's gonna get back in this george after a very strong start of the season has really really fallen off a shame for him that's been the Grand Prix. You can see us in the constructors currently sitting in P7 with 12 points. Possibly, hopefully, looking for more. But we go into Singapore next. Hopefully, with a bit more confidence. We're quick round Singapore. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in Singapore in the next one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.